Hello and welcome back to Annette Scraps. Today we are working on day three of the 30 days of sketches. If you have been following along, you will know that there's a link in the description below to Christy's Beautiful Life's 30 Days of Sketches Facebook page. And you will know that you are more than welcome to head over there and look at the sketches, play along at home. Today's sketch is from Susan. I think I'm going to mess up this surname. Susan U. And... Um, that sketch is up there in the top right hand corner. Now I did a lot of planning before I started videoing in this one. I um, got my photos all to the right sizes which took a very hot long minute and I also did some prepping where I made um, a couple of die cuts and bits and pieces and got them ready to get the Cricut machine going with um, those bits and pieces. So we're pretty much starting off probably, I'd already been working on this for 45 minutes since also just getting things in my head in the right way. Yes, I do take that long to get started. And, um, and then getting into the actual making and choosing papers and things, which is what we're doing now. So... When I'm choosing papers, I'm looking for something that this vellum, you can see there's a little pile of vellum leaves and bells and things there, are uh, going to um, have some kind of effect. Um, so I don't want them where the, I won't be able to see them. I really loved that black paper that I had on behind before, but I felt the motif on that was just a little bit too large. I am going through, if you'd seen yesterday's, and um, layout you'll know that there's certain packs that I've pulled aside to do my wedding photos which you're going to see lots and lots of um, and so I'd gone through those first and when I couldn't find something that would work in those particular collections I then went off looking in other spots. I sort of thought this pink was going to work and then I put that vellum on there and it really doesn't. So there's that pink, the larger piece, not the full 12 by 12, but the larger piece I had there was a piece from um, the Forever and Always collection. And I um, did like the pink and the subtlety of that pink, but didn't work. I've got an old mixing collection here now that I'm working through and there's this really beautiful green but again the vellum just doesn't pop on it. So I end up with this grey and it's got a very very fine kind of like not a pinstripe but a very fine little detail that runs down the page so it's got a little bit of pattern in it. It's not completely flat but it's not overly bold like the other pattern that I had earlier that was in grey. Now when I seen that on the video when I was editing I went why didn't I leave that one there but I know in the end it was going to be way too bold for my liking. Um, so the next thing on my list of things to do is to mount up these photos so I'm just giving them a little splattering of black. I cut a lot of that out for you guys because it's boring watching people mount photos. <laughs> and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and I'm going to make sure that I've got blending on these pieces of paper that I've popped down on my page. Now I stuck them down just with a tiny little bit of glue before just to put them in a position so um, they wouldn't move around too much. But now that I know that that's exactly where they're going, I want them nicely um, blend in with that black and what a difference does it make it makes such a huge 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 difference when you do blend stuff around the edges I'm also did that around the whole outside of the 12 by 12 page as well once I've got that done I can start placing all these little pieces so you can see I've got in the sage green I've got a um, outline that I'm putting over the top of those bells and then I also have leaves and I have outlines of the leaves there as well and I'm going to bring those in. Now my intention was just to use the outline on the vellum but as you'll see in a moment I sort of go oh I could just use those leaves on that vellum too and that would be a really subtle difference. So I kind of mix it up in the end which I was going to use like I had cut four and then I thought, well, I can get six and I was going to use six. But in the end, it, it looked wonky on one side and you'll see what I mean when we get to that. So I don't use um, 
but I do mix them up. I would have preferred if I'd used two of one and two of the other, but I end up with three different designs, which we'll see shortly. That's just the way the cookie ended up crumbling. Um, and I'm not too sad about it, but it, like, you know, if I could go back, rewind the clock and start again, I would definitely make sure that I used two designs, not three. So you can see here, I've just got the outline. I've got the outline on the vellum and then I've got the leaves on the vellum there. I'm trying to fit these in and making sure that I've got enough room for my title, which is going to say wedding day vibes. And you can see here, I'm just using a little bit of press and seal to lift that off my Cricut mat. And that means that I can then take it over and just check if I've got enough space there. I kind of want the, the day to start on the bells and move over. So I'm before I adhere the bells to the page, I want to make sure that I have left um, enough room for that. And I do want the writing on top, so I do need to know where those bells are going to go. You can see here, there's where I tried to bring in a fifth one out that side, and then a sixth one will be on the right side, but that fifth one, uh, sixth one doesn't make it onto the page. I do end up leaving the fifth one there because it just kind of blends in. You can't see it much when once it's on. Once I have those all in position, and it is quite tricky when you're working with such a fine things and vellum. Now, these are all the all the green, the sage pieces, are on um, double-sided sticker tape paper that I have cut them out of. Um, and the words are as well, which makes it a lot easier. But the vellum, obviously, you can't put sticker paper on the back of the vellum. So they had to be glued down. But you've got to try to glue them so you don't see that glue coming through. Because anything under the vellum, you can see like a bright spot. And I'm going to fit this now again on that press and seal so that I can see if it's going to be in the right spot. And that's where I push that other leaf out of the way and decide that it just looks a bit too wonky and a little bit out of place there. I do want something though in uh, up where that wedding is ending. So I do go through what I've got there and I know this little blue packet of um, sequins has little vellum hearts in them. I've used them quite often just as little details. They can go just about on any layout, but I do have to pick through them and they're getting more and more scarce as we go along because I do tend to pick them out of those sequin collections. So here you can see that I'm just placing them on in a few little spots. I still think it needs something just tiny a little bit more. So I'm going through um, my acrylic dots there and I can't find a really nice match in colour. But I end up coming back in with these little leaves that are left over from the other pieces. And I use those as little accents around these hearts. And I think that just worked really nice and naturally filled in a couple of those larger open holes that are surrounding that title where I, I felt that there was a little bit too much space and then I'm going to come in in a moment with a gel pen and just do some tiny tiny little white dots and again that's just adding just a smidgy little detail and um, in the close-up right at the end you'll see that and it does make a tiny 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 little difference <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed this one thank you susan for your sketch thank you to christy's beautiful life please head over um, and check out the description below which will have a link to her page and check that out if you have a moment and you like this series please like subscribe and leave a comment i would love it if you did that um, it does help my channel and it helps me to keep being able to make some videos that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you've had a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.